I just remember uh, the light through the crack under the door. And I remember asking my mom, you know, can I come out now? And then I smelled smoke, so I, you know, I ran out to find her. And then I heard this noise coming from her bedroom, like she was crying, but also like there was someone crying with her. And, uh, you know, I was, God, I was only like five years old, so of course I started crying too, but I couldn't see anything. It just started just, just banging on the glass. And then my mom showed up and she swung open the door and she was standing there naked and all of a sudden I was up in the air and her nails were just digging into my arms and she was screaming at me and she was screaming at me so loud and her eyes her eyes were just just black know what to do. I'm scared. Who else has seen them? No, how am I supposed to know who posted them? I don't even remember taking them. Yes, of course. Of course, I've been trying to reach him. I've been trying to reach him all week. Yeah, I'm sure. I know that he didn't post them, okay? His phone must have been hacked or... Okay, do not tell me to chill out. How would you feel if your naked pictures got leaked all over the internet? Yeah, that's your answer for everything. Besides, smoking that shit makes me even more paranoid. All I really need right now is something to just help me forget about all of this. Jake. Mm. Hey, Jake, honey, wake up. Mm. What? Anna's not here. What time is it? It's 11.45. Okay, um, uh, give me the phone. Oh, okay. sweetie. When I went into her room to check on her, I found this. What are they? They're pills, doesn't matter. I mean, dude, does it matter? Well, yeah, of course they do. I mean, it could be Adderall or Ritalin, you know, how they sell these to their friends during finals for tests. I, I, I saw that on some program. Are you really rationalizing this? I'm not rationalizing anything. I, I just think we need to think clearly about this. Sweetie, you know what would make me feel a lot better? What? Is if you just admitted you don't know what to do about this. Neither of us do. Come on. It started with booze, mm. then it's weed, and now it's pills. Are you not worried? This is your daughter we're talking about. Aren't you worried? I'm worried. Okay. You just woke me up, all right? Give me a minute. Well, how many times do we need to have this conversation? We can't just assume the worst, all right? We, we, we need to talk to her about this. Talk to her about it? Yeah. Yeah, because that works so well with our junkie mom. Oh, come on, Ann. Uh, no, you look. Hannah's not an addict, she's self-medicating. This goes deeper than drugs, she needs real help, and we're over our heads.
You had us worried last night, 12.15. It's not what we agreed to. Yeah, that wasn't my fault. Ashley's sister was late to pick us up. She had a date. Must have been a hot date. Goodbye. Love you too. Why do you even bother, Jake? Force a habit. What was her excuse this time? Ashley's sister was late. She had a big date. Mm. Hey, you hungry? I made breakfast. No, thanks. Well, I am starving. Tommy who? Tommy Miller. Guy hasn't worked in a month. Oh, um, all right, well, well, do you know where I can find him? It's, it's kind of important. Look, I hired Tommy because he has good weed. And his face, not in pretty girls like you, but you know what? You kids don't buy anything. All right, I'm just asking for help. You don't have to be rude about it. Rude? You want to know what's rude? Flirting with my employees while you're holding up the line for serious collectors. This is a vinyl store, OK? We sell vinyl here. Not the kind they use to make purses. So unless you got a Stratocaster in that backpack right there that you want to pawn off, I suggest you go home and stick to downloading your shitty music off of iTunes. All right, look, can you just give me his email address or something, please? I really need to talk to him. <laughs> I thought you actually knew this kid. Oh, shit, terrific. What are you, another fucking groupie? What do I look like, his manager? Right, you know what? Forget it. Where you're going, idiot. Hey, don't come back here. What? We need to talk. Okay, well, I'm doing homework. Hannah, please close your computer. Why? Okay, what is going on? We talked to Ashley's mom today. When exactly were you gonna tell us about the naked photos of you on the web, Hannah? How many times have we told you? When something goes online, it stays online forever. Yeah, but it's not my fault, okay? I'm not the one who posted them. So who did? The guy you sent them to, who? I don't know, maybe. You don't know, maybe. Hannah, you took your clothes off and sent naked photos of yourself to someone. What were you thinking? I wasn't. Apparently. Did you have sex with him? No. Don't you lie to me. Fine. We probably did, but I don't remember. Satisfied? I am not satisfied, no! Jake. Hannah, sweetie. You need to understand how serious what you just said is, okay? Did you take any drugs or alcohol that night? We found the pills in your room. You have to be 100% honest with us, okay? Yeah, okay, but it wasn't, it wasn't like that. How old was this boy? How old, Hannah? 18. 18. You're 15. It's criminal, okay? It's statutory rape. What the fuck were you thinking? Okay, Dad. You're scaring me. Look, I'll tell you everything you want to know if you just promise that you'll calm down. When did it happen, sweetie? <laughs> Three weeks ago. You, you, you were gonna tell me who that scumbag is. Wait here. Excuse me. Hey!
Thomas Miller, you better be telling me the truth. Yeah? Hi, Mrs. Ann Green, please. Hi, Mrs. Green. This is Lauren Miller, Tommy's mother. My son and your daughter. Hello? What are you doing at my home? How'd you get my address? I need to know why you had my son expelled from school today. You know damn well why your son got himself expelled. But Tommy isn't even capable of doing those things. He doesn't even go to school with your daughter. You're ruining his life. Are you kidding me? Ruining his life? I know my son. He is a good boy. Your son is a fucking monster and he should be behind bars. Don't walk away from me. I'm not finished. Please, Mrs. Green, please don't do this. I'm a single mother. I can't afford to homeschool him. Sweetheart, Anne really wanted to be here today. She doesn't care, whatever. It doesn't matter. I sucked anyway. You didn't suck. You were awesome. Don't say that. No, no, no. I, I just, you know, I, I wanted to explain to you that, hey, sweetheart, Anna, can you look at me while I'm talking to you? Can you act like you're paying attention? Anna. Can you come here for a minute? Why? Uh, because it's important. Not now. Okay, I promise. It's just gonna take a minute. Hannah, come down right now. Hannah? Why'd you let her go upstairs? I didn't let her go upstairs, oh, God, Jesus. Hannah? Crap! Open up, sweetie. No! This is my room and I don't want you coming in! Go away! Okay. Down. Do not tell me to calm down! Ah! You're the ones who are freaking out for no reason! Why the hell are Nana and Grandma downstairs? Oh, oh, okay, 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 calm down. That's what we need to talk to you about. Talk about what? Why are my suitcases out? Why were you going through my stuff again? This is very important. We just need you to listen. We already talked the other night. What do you want from me? You guys are fucking crazy! Hey! You watch your language, okay? because of your bad choices, we are sending you to the same place that your friend April went. April is not my friend. April gave head to the whole lacrosse team. Ah! God damn it! Hannah! No! Hannah! Where are you going? Open up! Why are you doing this to me? I won't go! Okay, sweetie, look. I know you're angry, but you have to understand that we're only doing this because we love you. No, you don't. You're Hannah, you listen to me right now. You either open up this door and let Anna and I take you there tonight, or I'm gonna call a transport service and they're gonna bring two complete strangers down here. They're gonna drag you out of there kicking and screaming, whether you like it or not. No, I'm not going. I'm not going anywhere. I want to kill myself. Okay, enough, enough. Uh, okay. Okay, Hannah. I know I'm not your mother. And we might not always get along. But I need you to know that I do love you. Sweetie, you're only 15. You know, kids your age, they're supposed to be happy. We want to be happy again, honey. You can.
Hey, I, I don't know if I'm in the right place. Is Tommy here? Hey, hey, hey. At last we meet. Your profile picture does you no justice. Um, uh, I kind of feel bad. I actually have to be somewhere else. Oh, bummer. Guess we gotta kick it some other time. No, it's cool. I just can't stay too late. Great. You know where we're headed? Says to stay on Highway 50 for another 120. 120 miles? Seriously? Why do I have to go so far away? It's not up for discussion. <sighs> Such bullshit. What, like LA doesn't have any rehabs? We're not having this conversation. There aren't any like this in LA, so stay out of this, and This is none of your business. And for the last time, it's not a rehab. It's a holistic program. Can I have my phone back now? No. Not even for two seconds? Let me just tell my friends that I'm not fucking dead. Hey, language. Oh, what? Like you don't say it all the fucking time? Enough. Or what? Huh? What are you gonna do about it, Dad? Are you gonna turn the car around? What are you doing? If you don't pull over, I will jump out. Stop the car! You close the fucking door right now! Well, thanks for bearing with me. Here's your tea. Thanks. And there's uh, Hannah's personables. Is everything okay? Uh, yeah, it's fine. It's just uh, we um, we thought we confiscated her phone. Uh huh. Uh, speaking of which, uh, what about communication? Well, she gets a family call once a week with a counselor, and um, when she earns enough points, she'll get video chat privileges. And how long do you think she needs to be here? It's not a perfect science, Anne, and she's apt to mess up a number of times before she gets it right. I know that's hard on the parents, but she's gonna need y'all to be strong for her because she can't concentrate on herself if there's a lot of tension at home. Isn't that gorgeous? It's one of my favorite places on earth. Anyway. 
I just got to ask you some questions. You just, you know, answer them honestly. I'm not here to judge. Um, are you on any medication? Do you self-medicate with any drugs or uh, alcohol? I know you don't want to be here, Hannah. But I don't want to make it any harder for you. This might seem like an invasion of privacy, but trust me, it'll be a lot easier if you're honest with us. There's an old proverb that says, it's not enough to put up a wall around you. You need friends to help you defend it. Are you trying to be my friend? It seems like you need one. Last time I checked Facebook, I had over 1,500 friends. What about her birth mother? Well, she has no legal standing, you know? She doesn't have custody. <laughs> um, excuse me. Sure. You know, that's not what I meant. Um... You know, Hannah is going to have to work out those issues with her birth mother. And even if she doesn't initiate it, the sooner is a lot better than later. And you may find it'll, it'll be the best thing for her. Thanks, Hank. I'm uh, sorry about what happened with Ann there. You don't need to apologize for Ann. Just that she's here, that she's going through this with you, I can see she's deeply invested. You're really lucky to have a woman like that in your family. Do you have a boyfriend? Are you sexually active? You mean, do I like to fuck? Yeah. Does anyone ever honestly answer that question? And if they do, do you believe them? Well, do you? Do I what? Do you like to fuck? remember. Um, Hank, do you, uh, you think, uh, you think we could say goodbye to Hannah again? Be hard on Hannah. And your tea. Thanks. We'll look after her. Thanks, Hank. We'll see you. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll meet you out there. Okay. Hey, uh, why do we have to wear these dumpy clothes? Like, is this a rehab or tryouts for The Biggest Loser? But we're all winners here, and the clothes help you learn to express yourself without using your looks. Now, anyway, they asked me to mentor you until you get adjusted, but you don't have to worry, you know, because I'm one of the cool ones. Crystal. Oh, hi. 
Have you seen my panties? Nope, sorry. But I haven't even told you what anyway, they look like yet. Anyway, you should do your laundry at least once a week and uh, make sure you shower before dinner because you know they're really strict about the whole healthy body, healthy mind thing. So don't skip even if there's no hot water because then they're going to make you do it again while they watch, which is uber creepy. Hey, uh, why does it have that thing on its face? I don't know. Esther says it's because of the flies and stuff, but I think it's because it bit somebody. I just stay away from it. Here are the stables where we keep all the horses. And don't worry, you'll get used to the smell. <laughs> now, the first thing that you do every morning is you feed and you bring water to the horses. What, the horses are for us? Yeah, we get to use them for therapy. Oh, so they have degrees too? <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> and this is Hank's office. Have you met him yet? He's like everyone's dad around here. So, uh, when do I get my phone back? Like, never. We're not allowed to use anything with internet access. Ooh, but come on, breakfast is waiting. Hey, everybody. This is Hannah. She just got here. Hey, I hope you guys save some breakfast for us. <laughs> Aren't you gonna eat? Well, trust me, you're gonna need to keep your energy up. This? Well, I mean, in that case, you can get started on your morning chore. Looks like you have tabletop duty. down the power button, now press cancel. And there you go, you've successfully bypassed the passcode. Thanks for watching. What are you doing sitting in the dark? I hadn't even noticed. Well, I thought I'd make uh, you a special dinner. Great, terrific. What have you been up to all day? This. You need to listen to what Hank said. You really should hear these texts. I'm not interested. Tommy, hey, where are you at? Hannah, swim practice. Liar, the GPS says you're at the mall. Come over and kick it with me. You're only two and a half blocks away. I don't know. Relax, I promise I look just like my profile picture. Okay, so? So the douchebag used the app to get her exact location. Look, you need to stop doing there this. You're just making it harder these. for your... No, there's really, there's some more of these texts. Come on, I got some top shelf shit you can't get at the food Come court. Come on. Hello? Damn, I thought you knew how to party. I guess you're just a poser. BFF bailed, I'm on my way. Triple excellent, finally gonna see the Juicy Heart up close. You hear that? He baited her. Hey, you okay? Make your own freaking dinner. Yeah? This rate, investors are gonna be lining up around the block. In the meantime, let's stay focused. Hey, there's someone waiting for you in the lobby. Okay. Harvey, que paso? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were my brother-in-law. Travis Lee. Jake, Jake Green. Pleased to meet you. Uh, what can I do for you? How old do you think this girl is? I don't know, 18? Try 15. All right, what's this really about? It's my daughter, Hannah, and uh, your app and its GPS let an 18-year-old predator write to her. Why are you bringing this to us? I mean, shouldn't you go to the police? Yeah, we went to the police, and uh, 
They let the bastard go, not enough evidence. That's why I'm coming to you, see? Because if something like this can happen to my daughter, it can happen to any underage user, they'd be at risk. I'm sorry, but we're not responsible if our app is misused. That's unbelievable. <laughs> you, you're not scared that your app is an accessory to a crime? Would you like me to put you in touch with our legal team? No, I don't want your legal team. I want you to delete her account. Look, Mr. Green, Jake Green. Green. I'm sorry, I understand you're upset, but if we allowed you to delete this account, then none of our users would have protection over their own information. The answer is no. No, no, oh, that's beautiful. Protection? The only thing that you're interested in protecting is yourself and your investors. You know, if it wasn't for your app, my daughter wouldn't be in this situation. Are you sure about that? Listen, Travis. Do you have a daughter? Huh? Sir, how sir, a, sir, how about a fucking Stop conscience? away from Mr. Lee. What are you blaming me for? It's not like I'm the one who hurt your daughter. Blaming you? Yeah, I blame you. I blame all of you. You guys say that you're not aware that minors use your app? You market to them! You get that? You market to them! All right, back to work. Back to work, everybody. her to express herself. Oh, no, this isn't my fault. She's lying, that bitch is a psycho. No, no, I saw everything. She practically molested her. Crystal, stay out of this unless you want a consequence. But you're wrong. Hannah, I saw what you did. And unless you apologize to Stephanie right now, I'm doubling your consequence. But did you see what she did to me under the table? <laughs> Hannah, apologize. Oh, I get it. <laughs> you're jealous. And you're a spoiled little brat. Thank you, Bonnie. I'll take it from here. It's okay, Hester. I've got it under control. I said I'll take her from here. I'll take Stephanie up to her room. Crystal, get something to clean up this mess. Hannah, come with me. Okay, what does this crazy horse lady expect me to learn in here? Oh, enjoy the view? Thanks, Esther. You've really shown me the error of my ways. You know, Esther's not that bad once you get to know her. I'd like to know that cutie on her desk a little bit better. Are you talking about the picture of her son? I don't know, I guess. She didn't tell you? He OD'd like a long time ago. Damn. Oh, what a waste. No, that doesn't matter anyway. I'm already taken. Really? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hi. Hey, what are you doing? You can't leave your hut. Yes, I can. I finished reflecting. You filled that whole journal already? Oh, yeah. No, just wrote really big letters. <laughs> so, uh, this guy. Are you, like, Facebook official? Or... Um, not yet. Hmm. Have you hooked up yet? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Is, is, is that weird? I, mean, I, I haven't, if that makes you feel any better. No, no, no. It, it's cool. Okay. <laughs> so... Give me the deets. I mean, he must be really cute, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so how was it? Oh, gosh. You are so lucky. <sighs> Don't you knock? I thought you West Coast girls were used to earthquakes. I wanted to meet the rest of the Green family. I'm Hank. I run this place. How are you doing out here? Oh, just super. Yeah. I love my new sweatbox. It's very Gitmo. So, uh, what do I have to do to get out of here? Tunnel out with a spoon? Well, we call it a reflection hut for a reason. 
you could try reflecting. A lot of good books been written in prison. as Nelson Mandela. I see you're having a little writer's block. Why don't you come down off the roof? We'll take a walk. You'll find your muse. Okay, okay. I'll get up there and even out my farmer's tent. Oh, okay, 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 fine. Just as long as it's upwind of that compost heap. That thing is a biohazard. So you're a dancer? Was. Did you miss it? It's hard to miss something you weren't very good at in the first place. Well, that is exactly what my sister would have said. She wanted to be a dancer. You must be so proud. Well, I would have been. But when she was your age, my mom was driving to someplace, drunk on her ass, drove right into a Mack truck, killed everybody in the car but me. Oh, don't look sad. I like you better when you're feisty. Anyway, it turned out okay. I lost one family. I got another one right here. I'm really glad you're part of it. I think we're gonna be really proud of you, Hannah. I do. We've never met, but there's nothing to fret, except I can't think what's in this drink. Relax, breathe in. You can trust him. Use an extra pair of hands. Doing what? Solving world hunger. Oh, great. Another tree hugger. Well, technically, I am a social horticultural therapist. What's the difference? Not much. It's like gardening that nurtures people and plants. You ever um, nurture any weed? Well, Mahayo is Cheyenne for higher being, but uh, not that kind of higher being. You, let's go. Wait, aren't you gonna send me back to my sweat box? You wanna go back to your sweat box? So I spent the next couple months in Venezuela doing some volunteer work. They use every available space for gardening. Alleys, window sills, <laughs> vacant lots. A garden is a gift from the earth that just keeps giving with every bloom. Am I doing this right? Yeah, that looks great. You just want to, you want to pack the soil tight enough so the roots can grow strong, but not too tight so they can't breathe. Okay, what's the point? Trust me, uh, being self-sufficient is a big part of your solo. All you're going to be able to eat for three days is what you can carry or what you can find, which is not much in the desert. Okay, what's a solo? Is that some sort of organic food cleanse? Doesn't get much more organic than a tumbleweed salad. No. A solo is a spirit journey, and it's your final step here. Have you ever done it? Sort of, except my journey was on the streets and for a lot longer than a few days. So is that why you live here now, because you're broke? No, no, I have a doctorate in psychology and I am 10 years sober. Actually, I could, I could work anywhere. So then why? Because I want to help kids who are like how I used to be. <laughs> <laughs> it's better than pesticides. Give your hand.
you like any toppings, sir? Have sprinkles, gummy bears, jelly beans? You okay, sir? You're Tommy, right? That's me. Honey, you need to start getting ready. We're going to be late. What's going on, Jake? I'm so fucked. What the hell are you talking about? I went to uh, visit that boy today. Oh, for Christ's sake, he's just a pool boy. He was just flirting with me. What are you talking about? No, Tommy. What? I let my daughter down. I let myself down. And now I'm letting you down. Honey, you need to get some help. So what did you do to the kid? Am I supposed to expect another visit from his batshit mother, or is my husband going to prison? Nothing! Okay? I did nothing. Your husband is a coward. Well, sometimes it takes more courage to do nothing. You are so far gone, you can't even see you did the right thing. <laughs> you really need to get over yourself, Jake. You really need to get over yourself. What are you doing? I'm gonna go take a bath. Go enjoy the play. I just... I just had enough drama for one day. If you want somebody no! <laughs> no, stop. No, 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 no dad, no. Yeah. It's, it's embarrassing. Come stop. on, let's get funky. Okay. You are not dancing with the stars. I am so dancing with the stars. Out. Out. No, bye. Oh, bye. bye. <laughs> In my experience, horses are like mirrors. Well, they're not quite as pretty as you all, but they do reflect back how you act and feel. So if you're feeling moody, the horse is going to be moody back and will probably back away. Cora, since you're the most experienced, why don't you show the new girls the proper way to approach their horse? See how she extends her hand and waits for the horse to sniff it, and then she scratches it on the wither. The most important thing is to wait for the horse to come to your hand. It's like um, asking permission to touch it, but the decision is up to the horse to make. Um, Cora, why don't you bring candy over so that the girls can practice? Okay, um, Hannah, why don't you do the same? Uh no, I don't think she even likes me. The way you feel about your horse is the way she'll feel about you. Come on, give it a try, no pressure. See, I was right. Can I please just have a different horse? No, you can't. Why not? Because she mirrors you so well. 
what's that supposed to mean? Look at Cora and Candy. You see how relaxed her body language is? Most girls don't get that kind of connection with their horse. But I think you can. See, horses don't like to be fenced in. And I don't know, there's just something about you that tells me you don't either. The sooner you believe that, the sooner you'll know you have a lot more in common than you think. Lunch. Thank you so much. Anna, turn it off. I can't. Nothing. But it looks like it was pretty painful. Come on, honey. It's late. Just leave that. Come on. Speeding! 58 Apple, take two. B mark. Action. I'm Officer Jonathan Mathis, reminding you that texting while driving can cost you more than a fine. Cut! Hey, Jonathan, that's great. We need five minutes, okay? Thank you, everyone. Hey, uh, Hank, is Hannah okay? Yeah. 
She's sitting right here in front of me. You know, we have rules here at Mejo, and uh, unfortunately, she broke kind of a major one last night. Oh, um, Hank, can I, uh, can I please speak to Hannah? You bet. It's your dad. Hi. Hey. Hey, honey, how you doing? I hate it here. Can I come home now? Uh... I'm gonna be completely honest with you, sweetheart. You're gonna stay there until Hank and his team say that it's safe for you to come home. Honey? Hannah, I love you so much. I need you to know that. Now, can you please put Hank back on the phone? So what's the verdict, Jake? I know Hannah's in good hands, so you do whatever you gotta do. She's not gonna come home until you tell me that she's ready. I was kinda hoping you'd say that. Good. Well, all right then, we'll get back to you. But don't you think it's a little bit funny that you're dying to get out of here and you got busted breaking in? Why didn't you tell him what I did? What, you think you're the first girl that ever tried to break into my office? It's not what I mean. What I mean is, what happens next? Hannah, you're not here to be punished. And you're not here to be shamed. I suspect you've put yourself through too much of that as it is. The important thing is, what can you learn from this? Look, there have been lots of girls who sat in that chair and asked their parents to bring them home. And some of them did. And everyone wound up right where they began. When the time comes, I want you to go home when you're ready. Not before. Help yourself. Not that one, that's my favorite. Who's in charge? I need to talk to the person in charge immediately. Oh, I, I want to help you just be clear. How much more clear can I make it? Wait a minute, do, do, do you speak English? Habla inglés. Si, and Italian and a little French too. <laughs> Trey fucking bien. Look, if you can't help me, I am going to need to speak to someone who can. Do you know who I am? Look me in the eye when I'm talking to you, okay? Excuse me. Have we got a problem here? Uh, yeah, thank God. Listen, this woman has been incredibly rude to me. I am only here to pick up my daughter and take her home. Excuse me, but uh, who are you? Deborah Green. Oh, Miss Green. Well, you know that Hannah's father has full physical and legal... Yes, yeah, he only sent her here to hurt me. So if you don't go get my daughter and her stuff and bring it to me, I'm gonna make some trouble. You shut up. You just shut up, okay? Please, please don't let her take me. You can't tell anyone, okay? You have to promise me. Give me my kid. I won't. He basically kidnapped her, okay? And now you people are holding her here against her will. It's not gonna happen. Give me my kid. Let's don't you fucking touch me. Okay. You don't know who you're messing with. You give me my kid right now, or this place will be mine. I will sue you for alienation of affection. You come back with a court order, you can take Hannah. Fine. I will. Don't touch my cab. I can get this. Son of a bitch. Have a nice day. I mean, my life was great until my mom ruined it. She got so drunk one night that she started dancing on a table until it broke. And everyone saw up her skirt when she fell. And you know what she said? She said it was too hot to wear underwear. And I just hated her for that. Because that was the last 4th of July that we actually spent as a family before my dad shot himself. But before I came here, I was doing stuff that was way worse than anything that my mom ever did. 
So, you know, I just feel sorry for her, you know? My whole family saw up my skirt and the whole internet too. See, these pictures, they were supposed to be private. But I guess I should have thought about that before I dumped my boyfriend if I didn't want him to sell them to some revenge porn site. But it's okay because I'm internet famous now. I guess that's what I get for trusting a white guy with Chinese tattoos. Damn, Jennifer. You make a rad Buddhist monk. <laughs> their whole thing is that life is suffering too. What the hell do they know about suffering? They live their whole goddamn lives on a mountain. And everybody loves the Dalai Lama because he says stupid stuff like, being mean is bad and being nice is good. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder if he'd be so chill if he woke up in the middle of the night with his stepdad on top of him. Feel good. Just kind of get that out. You heard? All right, ladies. What time is it? You know what time it is. Stand up. <laughs> Here we go. Loud. Thanks, ladies. Have a great night. Get some rest. We'll see y'all tomorrow. What's up, Hannah? She's lying, you know? Who's lying? Crystal. About her mom. I heard them talking on the phone yesterday. They're like best friends. She just wants people to feel bad for her, but I bet her mom never invited dealers over to her house or locked her in a closet while they had sex and mused together. Oh, or threatened to commit suicide if she didn't text her back right away. Or tried to take her away from here. Please don't stay mad at Crystal, though. Sometimes doing the right thing for a friend means doing something you know they won't like. She only told us because she cares about you. And hurting yourself to cope? It's just gonna leave you with more scars. We're here for you, babe. Forget me. Forget me. By the Um, no, sorry. You staying here with anyone? Just waiting for a friend. Yeah, me too. Hey, you, uh, you gotta change. I might downstairs. Wanna hang out and get high and watch TV or something? I know the chef. Sure. Okay. It's just down here. What? Cooking good looking. Who the fuck is she? My new friend. She wants to party with us. I wanted to have a nice evening in. And you bring some jailbait bitch? Do you, do you want me to go? No, no, you're yeah. good. Come on, where's my man? Where's my, come on, sit down. No, I'm good, really. I know, you're good. It's fine. Sorry. This is my supper. This is a buffalo chicken salad. I told you, get me Caesar. So take the chicken off. I I'll eat it if you want. It's the fucking principle of the thing. You know I'm hypoglycemic. 
and I'd like you to give me some support. Well, you work at a restaurant. Why don't you just make your own? Do you think I eat the shit that I cook? Do you know how much glucose is in buffalo fried chicken? No. I saw this on Dr. Oz. She's smarter than a fucking TV doctor now, right? Huh? And where's my change? I gave you a fucking test. Uh, uh, Are you going with Peach Buzz? No, I have to go. No, you're not going nowhere. Give that junkie's collateral. No, you better back the fuck off, oh, asshole. Man, you got a dirty mouth. That's okay. I got something dirty to choke you with. Fuck you and fuck your chicken. Oh! oh. Two minutes, three seconds. What? No, I can do better. Really? Yeah, let's go again. One, Ready? two, three, go. <gasps> Tell anybody. It was a cool night in July when she first appeared to him. He put his head down, down on the pillow and came face to face with her grin. And she said, run, you can run from the moon to the sun, from the night into the day. Oh, run, sleeping one, till the morning comes, but you'll never <laughs> no wonder he blew his brains out. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, so there was this pony who went to the county fair, right? And he saw this guy selling apples. So he walked up to the guy and asked him for an apple. And the guy said, I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Can you speak up? And the pony said, oh, I can't. I'm a little hoarse. You know, because the horse, I mean, the pony, he wasn't like a little horse. He was literally a little horse. That's the best you got. <laughs> Hey, you think she'll like this one? They say that blue evokes calmness and serenity. What do you think? I, um, I have a flight in three hours. I'm gonna go back to bed. I blamed Hannah for the situation she found herself in. I'm her father, goddammit. I'm supposed to protect her. I'm supposed to love her unconditionally. And when she needed me most, I shamed her. Jake. Feeling sorry for yourself. And you know, gonna help her. you know what I said to her when it all happened, when all the problems started. I said she acted just like her mother. Well, she did. Don't you have a plane to catch? <sighs> now I'm a stepmother, a wife, and a therapist. Daddy. What do you think? Am I pretty? You're my masterpiece. You're my masterpiece. So, is craziness hereditary in your family or what? Excuse me? <laughs> I heard your mom tried to kidnap you. Yeah, well, at least somebody out there misses me. True. My mom just owned my ass. Mm, why am I not surprised? Check this out. When I tried telling mom what he did to me, you know what she said? Bitch, that never even happened. And when I kept bringing it up, she sent me here. It sounds like our moms have a lot in common. Yo, wouldn't it be mad funny if we became like homegirls and they had to hang out with each other for birthday parties and play days and shit? <laughs> They'd probably kill each other. <laughs> or less out, then we'd be at Manas. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Why are we in here and not them? Um, do you have bells on your costume? I don't think you have bells on your costume. <laughs> Who's been stealing my panties? It was you, wasn't it? You got a crush on me now, Dyke? <laughs> Whoa, language. Yeah, not even. Really? Yeah, really. I can't shop at Victoria's Secret. I have the hips of a prepubescent boy. See? Pink looks better on you anyway. Damn, someone get her a chill pill. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. No. 
Oh, I know. I wish you could come too. But I'll bring you back an apple or something. Okay. Okay. I gotta go, sweetheart. Bye. Three weeks later, my baby sailed away. The captain of ships, but he'll sail right back to me. Cause I got married to the baddest man on the sea. He sailed the ocean blue and discovered me. I got married to the baddest man on the sea. He once caught a whale by the skin of his teeth. He writes home a letter or two every week. He signs them, my darling, you'll always be my sweet pea. And when he comes home, he smells of the earth and the sea. Sweet smell of cigars and bitter, bitter whiskey. Cause I got married to the baddest man on the sea. He once caught a whale by the skin of his teeth. He once caught a whale by the skin whoa, 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 of his gold teeth. Girls. What's going on? Uh, Betsy Moo's gotten out. You know anything about us? You're not gonna get in trouble, but I have to know. Can we help you find her? No, she better go on up to the house and get cleaned up. No, that's stupid. You can't find her without me, you need me. Hannah, do what I say. I don't have time for this. Come on, Hannah, let's go. Horses run away all the time. did make a little bit of a mess, but you know something? We can clean it up. No. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm the one who left the gate open. I lied. God, everyone was right about me. What are they right about, honey? That I'm just like my mom and that I'm never gonna get any better. Hannah. Hannah. You're not like your mom. You know, even when she was really bad to me, she'd always take me out for ice cream later. And then she'd tell me that I couldn't tell my dad, otherwise I'd never be able to see her again. Has that ever happened to you? Have you ever let someone hurt you because you're afraid to leave? You mm mean... -hmm like that boy you were talking to in my office. I thought he loved me. Everyone says that the first time is supposed to hurt, but I didn't know that meant getting my head bashed into a wall. That's what true love means, right? Staying with someone no matter what. Oh my God. No, Hannah. It doesn't. That's not what it means. They got another word for that. Listen. I'm gonna tell you something. Love is not something that somebody gives you. It's something you find for yourself in there. And I promise you, you discover that, 
you'll be able to receive all the love that ever comes your way. You'll be home free. Even if you're covered in shit. <laughs> <laughs> Will you please come in the house? Will you? Okay, come on. How'd you find the one piece of poop on the lawn? some really creative choices and rocks. So how was it to carry them around all day? It was fun, right? It sucked. How stupid if you ask me. Yeah, I mean, why couldn't you tell us we were gonna carry the rock all day before I chose this stupid big one? See, these rocks represent the burdens that you're carrying around with you every day, all day long. Now that sucks worse than carrying around these rocks, right? Yeah? Okay, does anybody wanna get rid of some of that extra baggage? Yeah? All right, we're gonna start by getting rid of these nasty rocks. Come on. Follow me. Come on. We're gonna chuck these rocks on the count of three. One, two, three. <laughs> that was awesome, right? I know you just feel lighter already. Now, come on, let's take a seat again. Now. I want you guys to find a quiet place on the ranch, a place where you feel really, really safe. And I want you to write down all the burdens that you're carrying. C can we draw a picture? Yes. What about a poem? Yes, absolutely. Draw it, paint it, collage it, do whatever it takes to get that burden off of you and onto the page. Is, is anyone gonna read it? No. We're gonna burn it. Okay, we'll see you guys at the campfire. Hey, Hannah, come here. I wanted to ask you, why did you pick such a small rock? I wasn't cheating, if that's what you're thinking. No, I know. The point of the exercise is that the size of the rock doesn't matter. But you couldn't have known that when I told you to pick one. I, I don't know, it was the lightest rock to carry. I guess I'm just a wimp. Honestly, rocks aren't like burdens. Rocks don't grow like burdens do. And they're not gonna stay light for long, okay? In his arms, I think I'm safe. Don't complain, he's just learning too. That's enough, I wanna stop. Too embarrassed to call a cop. Please let me out, why can't I shout? I want my daddy, where is the door? He's done now and tells me I'm a whore. <laughs> Please don't give up on her. I never give up. That was cold. Well, he's got a lot on his mind. I know how important Betsy was to you, but you would have had to say goodbye to her someday. I know. It's just, I've had to say goodbye to so much since I've come here. I used to get drunk and high every single day, not to feel good, because I, I didn't want to feel good. I didn't think I deserved it. I just wanted to forget who I was. But I've given all that up now. 
and I never want to give up Betsy. She's the first friend I've had that I didn't have to pretend to be somebody else with, and I never even got to thank her for that. Oh, but I think you have. You know all of our horses are rescues. They come here unwanted and unloved, and the kindness you showed Betsy was just as therapeutic for her as it was for you. You thank her every single time you show that same kindness to someone else. That's gratitude. Me to get your dad? Actually, um, I wanted to talk to you. Okay, well, you've got me all to yourself. What's up, sweetheart? You doing okay? I can do this. Um, I, I just wanted to say I'm sorry for being so terrible to you before I came here. I don't know why I was angry all the time. I wanted to hurt someone, and you were the only one there, so I hurt you. But I want you to know that I've always loved you, even when I said I didn't. We used to have so much fun together. I wish we still could. I wish I could call you mom. <sighs> yeah, sweetheart, you can call me mom. I always hoped that you would. <laughs> okay, um, anyway, that's, that's all I wanted to say. So I'll talk to you later. Uh, tell dad I love him more than the moon and the stars. <laughs> Bye. Hey babe, I'm gonna go for a run. I... Hey, what's going on? You gay? Ooh. What's wrong? I just spoke to Hannah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. She asked if she could call me mom. Me? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Just a sec, Anna. We're not done here yet. So Ariel and I had a meeting. And we made a big decision. We've um, decided that you're ready. Really? <laughs> you ready? You ready? I am. God, I'm so excited for you. Is this really all I'll have? It's all you're gonna need. Don't worry. Will, our solo guide, he's gonna follow you every step of the way. If you ever need anything, just raise your red flag, blow on your whistle. Relax. You're gonna own this like Lewis and Clark. Okay, I heard Lewis and Clark had to drink their own pee when they ran out of water. It'll never come down to that. You'll drink Will's pee first. Ew, you're so nasty.
she knew you came back. I lost you. I missed you. Thank you all for coming from so far away to share in this very special graduation with us. Peggy, Melissa, and Hannah will be moving on to transition houses where they will prepare for life after Mahero. Before we begin, I know that Hank would like to say a few words. Hank. Thanks, Esther. <clears throat> we call this place Mahero from the Cheyenne word meaning higher being. And I've heard all the garbage that these guys look up to me, but the truth of it is, is I look up to them. These are the bravest people I know. There's so much unfair pressure on them to get everything too fast, to grow up too fast. They can falter. So here we try to slow things down. We try to help them find a good pace. And I think that these four-legged horses can help these kids find their own two feet. So you parents have been led to the outside of a stone circle. And we make this circle to remind us that everything in nature is connected. So I'd like you to take a couple careful steps forward. Don't trip over the stones. 
and you're in the circle, we'll just take a minute of silence, let nature speak to us. And I'd like you to hold out your right hands. And the next voice you hear and the next hand you feel will be part of you. up on me. I'll never give up on you. I love you. I love you so much. I was looking for you. <laughs> With all my love. <laughs> Saturday so far away Staring at the ceiling of the boat Wish for love Wishes that I seem to hold Buried in my heart and in my soul Will unfold place you have here. Just to know how it feels tonight. 